The three-way active speaker system based on IcePower 300 Ace 1 and 200 Ace 2 boards. I had a couple of extra stock of uh, 300 Ace 1 and 200 uh, Ace 2 IcePower boards. I'm thinking about what tangible I can make out of them. For my experiments, I was looking for a mobile flexible amplifier set to test stereo and active three-way speaker systems. In this video, I filmed the building process of universal solution for three-way active speaker system. For your project, you need an enclosure. Uh, to save time, I decided to use my TCR-1000 universal enclosure. It is an universal enclosure that can accommodate Hypex professional lineup solutions as well as some combinations of ice power lineup like 2x125A6 uh, two boards in Bridget architecture with capability delivery uh, of uh, 450 watts on 4 ohm load, dual 300A1 or uh, 300A1 plus 1 or two 300A1 hunger modules. It is simple aluminium material enclosure with an active cooling options. Recently I dropped the price to uh, 99 euro plus 25 euro expedite flat rate uh, FedEx shipment worldwide. It comes with connectors but without active cooling fan and fan controllers. For design convenience, 12 volt universal power supply is included. On the shop you can see that I dropped the uh, price, uh, there are brief description, what it is, as well as uh, more pictures, practically the same. Short description about it. Here is also a video about that uh, that board. If you are looking for 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 more information, all details are here. How to put it together. Also example of of one of uh, of projects. And now let's start the project. Uh, those are my boards. I have two sets of them. Uh, so I can build a stereo system. You can see that Ice Power 300 Days 1, it's a great board. All around, you can get about uh, 250 watts uh, out of it uh, for 4 ohms. It's rated as a 300 watt board, but let's be conservative. Uh, there is a clean, great uh, 250 watt uh, output, uh, output uh, power. It fits for, uh, for a woofer if you have a 4 ohms. If you have 8 ohm woofer, it's kind of a little bit shy. But anyway, uh, it's efficient. Uh, you can run it without uh, extra heat sink or, or cooling. Uh, there is even no uh, place for that. Um, but some my flow is recommended. Some my flow is recommended. Uh, you can see there is a large resistor, it's so-called Zobel network uh, resistor, to make it less uh, dependent on a, on a load. Overall, great board. And uh, here is one of my favorite for budget solutions. It's a cheap uh, TPA3255 uh, uh, board uh, with a very good power supply. I was wondering how Ice Power managed to get uh, such a low noise uh, using uh, using uh, switching mode power supply, and not a simple power supply. It can work from 110 to 220 volts. It is really a nicely built board, and I think there's a lot of engineering thoughts how to make it uh, compact, how to make it easy easy to cool and uh, also for this board you don't typically don't need uh, active airflow. Here is my TCR1000 uh, uh, enclosure kit. Uh, I already processed the bottom plate uh, for a standoffs. Um, it has uh, six parts. It's very easy to assemble or process. Uh, mostly we are dealing with the flat components. Now you can drill holes, you can add standoffs, you can add uh, uh, some additional boards to the sides. A lot of flexibility for your projects, for your configurations, for some small boards or large boards, uh, everything you can put in this enclosure. It's meant to be universal. I took uh, all my components and, and tool sets in one, one, one place. 
You need 3 mm uh, different length screws. I also made uh, wires already crimped for, for that project. Uh, as well as uh, all components that you, you should mount. Uh, you need 3 inputs, uh, 3 outputs for one box. Of course uh, I put also put vent and, uh, and grill for that. Let's start project and we will start with the feet. Uh, somehow it makes uh, that uh, project stable and I like uh, that feet are uh, on, a, on a bottom, you are not scratching your surface. It takes just a minute, uh, you see it in accelerate way, but anyway, there is nothing fancy. For this project I'm using uh, feet with, uh, with the screws, but also you can use uh, some uh, sticky feet and it's fine as well. I was lazy and uh, cut all uh, holes on CNC machine, I did a cut drawing. Uh, in that case everything fits perfectly, you shouldn't measure. Sometimes I'm wondering, I'm not very good at, uh, at mechanics. I'm measuring, measuring and measuring, uh, doing uh, marks and finally it's still about one millimeter wrong. And then I need to, to file uh, some, some, some holes. I'm really big fan of the CNC machining uh, process that uh, somehow eliminates my shortcoming. Sometimes watching uh, YouTube, I'm really fascinated by people who with uh, simple tools are capable to do uh, very precise measurements and then they cut that it's exactly how it should be, even with CNC machine and sometimes wrong and then they do it just by, by hand and they're doing it, uh, it in fast. It's practice, it's practice, nothing else. But for, for us, for those who are doing computer aided uh, design, mm, this is an uh, alternative, use a CNC machine and, and mostly work uh, with a computer. At the very end, uh, our, our designs are uh, even more precise and you have a good repeatability, you can document it and you can build the project after, after that. Yes, that uh, design uh, takes, takes time, but in the uh, long run it always pays back. Uh, since it is a test device, I'm going to run it at a maximum power, use some uh, load equivalents, test different uh, Mm, amplifier options and capabilities to withstand uh, harsh environments. I'm putting a uh, fan. Uh, normally for that project uh, you don't need. Uh, both boards are uh, very efficient and those are built in a way that they don't dispatch uh, too much heat and aluminium enclosure is capable to accumulate that heat and dispatch to environment. As long as you are not in very hot countries, uh, you can uh, build uh, such project without fan. But I like fan. Uh, first you can uh, stack equipment, you can pit, put it anywhere, you can put it uh, vertically and you can put it horizontally in any uh, circumstances you have sufficient cooling. Uh, of course you need additional boards like this uh, fan control board. It is temperature regulated, uh, it has sensor and when environmental temperature is going up then fan speed is going up uh, as, as well. But in normal operation conditions uh, those are low RPMs and you are not able to hear it even from uh, 10 centimeters from the device. When you're doing experiments it's not important, maybe for some someone who is listening uh, in a calm night and really in sil silent way you can complain it, but you will not hear a uh, fan. Fan is, uh, is a great solution. It makes your design small, makes it efficient, uh, makes it uh, adaptive for different temperature. Even uh, direct sunlight will not make uh, too much damage to your, uh, to your device. With passive cooling it's uh, dangerous to be in direct sunlight. Uh, in many manuals it is written that it can operate in normal 25 degrees uh, Celsius environment, but you should avoid the direct uh, sunlight. For direct sunlight only option is active cooling, there is no other alternatives. In general you should avoid electronic uh, equipment to be uh, dispatched to direct sunlight. It's written in many manuals. Project is progressing. I'm working with a front panel where I have a main switch and some uh, control uh, LEDs. Wires can be measured in advance, so everything fits fits in. Uh, it is very easy to work with a modular design uh, because uh, it's easy to access to all components. 
You can assemble each component separately and then put it together. Uh, I really like this modular design. Mm, actually, it's a rather expensive design because you need six, uh, uh, six pieces and then you need a lot of uh, screws and nuts to put it together. But for prototyping for DIY projects, this is probably the best uh, enclosure design. And it is uh, also a small package when you're shipping it. Uh, now everything has been assembled. I'm uh, adding and connecting connectors. A little bit housekeeping. Putting them together that they should look nice and tidy. Uh, also I did it in a way that uh, a low level signal or, or uh, input signals are uh, on, uh, on the bottom and uh, high level or output signals and uh, mains are on a, on the top of design. And now let's put everything together and do the first tests. Uh, for tests I made a number of short uh, speaker cables, one millimeter. Uh, you can see that uh, this very small uh, speaker is my test speaker. It is cheap speaker and I'm using practically for all my uh, equipment or design first, uh, first tests. Even with kilowatt amplifiers I'm using that and sometimes I'm getting a uh, blast. Uh, but it is interesting that uh, such uh, speakers are capable to withstand very high short term blasts. I didn't burn it. Everything working fine. I did some mismatch between uh, inputs. Uh, uh, I need to mark them, but anyway, everything uh, was okay from the first uh, first run. No, I'm already a rather experienced guy on on uh, such a, such a projects, but mistakes are part of our uh, learning and education path. Uh, especially if you are engineering uh, something new or uh, or doing a new project, uh, you can't make them without mistakes unless you are not repeating uh, the same over and over, even then. Uh, but when uh, working with a new one, you can see that uh, everything works fine, uh, fun is running. I decided and tested uh, both devices. For stereo I need two of them, because in one box I am able to accommodate only uh, three channels. Uh, but at some point uh, I am ready to test it with the uh, real speakers. Now it's a moment to enjoy uh, what you did. Um, in normal production, uh, of course, you are working with a, with a gloss. Uh, for that project, I didn't. That means I cleaned fingerprints afterwards. There was a lot of small details that I should uh, keep uh, with my fingers and with a, with a gloss. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult. But anyway, I, it was a great uh, idea to use already made uh, enclosure. There are 300 millimeters each that uh, you need a space for 600 millimeters. Uh, it's uh, very well fit together with my um, active crossover. There are a lot of bits from the audiophile uh, people for a digital sound processing active crossovers or DSP active crossovers. but. I can say from my experiments, I quickly find out that uh, it's not that important. Modern speakers are uh, very linear and uh, room impact is huge. You should uh, work and place your speakers correctly. You can fix it with a, with a DSP. And then when you do some automatic room correction, it's, it's not very good. It doesn't sound good. There are uh, many psychoacoustic uh, components that you should, uh, should take in account. And the, the key is the placement of your speakers in a room. Mm, even without room treatment you can achieve relatively good result. But it's not possible to fix all those artifacts with uh, digital sound processing. This is how final project looks. It is easy to assemble in your uh, equipment shelf. Uh, it fits uh, well together and then you connect your speakers. My speakers uh, are empty without crossover. All speaker outputs are connected to uh, output connectors and I can test uh, different solutions, listen to them and enjoy music. And summarizing. Boards used iSpower 300 Ace 1 and 200 Ace 2. Power per channel 3-way 
woofer 250 watts at 4 ohms uh, and about 150 for 8 ohms. Mid-range and tweeter 100 watts for 4 ohm load and about 70 watts for 8 ohm load. Costs per channel 300 days 1 plus uh, 200 days 2 plus enclosure plus uh, shipping. It's about uh, 445 euros. Quality, quality outstanding. Best configuration for you, woofer 4 ohm load and mid-range and tweeter 4 to 8 ohms. There is no difference. Good luck with your projects.